Hello students. Welcome to the 11th lab lecture of Python for BCA third semester. As per the syllabus of IK Gujral, Punjab Technical University, Jalandhar. Let us check the contents first of all. Course code is 1917. Programming in Python Laboratory. These are the contents. UGC 8 one is the course code. I have already completed first 10 programs. Today's program is count the occurrence of a digit 5 in a given integer number input by the user. For that, I am using spider platform. Now, what is required in this program? We have to count the occurrence of a digit 5 in a given integer number. It means one integer value is required from user side. Input. Enter any integer value, then we have to convert this value into string to use count method print count of five is equal to there you can write n dot count and you can pass 5 inside this method now execute enter any integer value suppose this one is the number count of 5 is equal to 2 in this way you can design this program but I would like to explain this program in another ways also. How can you write the program? Suppose in place of 5, you have to count any other number. Let us say m is equal to input. enter the number to count like this and here you can pass m and you can write count is like this let's execute this program enter any integer value suppose i am writing this number then enter the number to count count is equal to 2 7 is 2 times in this number this one is the second content first content is you have to count the digit 5 and in this program you can count any number from any entered integer value suppose i enter string value like this then there is no need to convert this content suppose I enter any alphabet then enter J you can count these values it means you can count alphabets also here you can write enter any string value enter the number or alphabet to count enter any string value like this you can enter any number 
then suppose I enter 8 here, you can display the count of 8 from these values. This value is alphanumeric value. This one is the third content. Suppose we have to count all the alphabets along with their count. Then what to do? For that, we can use counter like this from collections import counter. Suppose I am taking one string value. Let this value is Gulzar group like this. Then n is equal to or suppose I write print then str inside string then counter and pass str this string value. Suppose this one is required string then counter then str. Now execute you can see all the alphabet along with their count inside the dictionary g2 u2 r2 l2 1 j1 z1 a1 space one time and all the contents are there suppose i change the value suppose i am writing like this now check the output 1 is 4 times, 2 is 3 times, and 3 is 2 times. In this way, you can display all the alphabets or numbers along with their count. Now, one more content is there. Suppose, with the use of function, I have to count the content with the use of functions. by using functions. For that, I have to design one function. Define function and inside one list is there and x suppose element is there. Then I can write return List dot count x like this. Then design any list like this. Suppose this one is the list, and we have to display the count of three. Then I can write here print inside single code a third then times then dot at first curly braces n is required and at second place function is required list comma n so this one is required which means you can display three occurred how many number of times inside the function it will return some value now check the output three occurred two times three is two times so i am writing again like this then you can increase the content this error is there you can increase the content 3 occurred 5 times hope you understand the content of counting the numbers or you can display all the numbers along with their count you can display 5 
you can display 7 whatever the number is there suppose I am writing 9 here 9 is not in the list 9 occurred 0 times like this you can display the values like that also it's by default they are inside python thanks for watching the video